Surely you've seen the story in recent weeks. Texas A&M has recently added a few championships to a wall at Kyle Field. Magically, the Aggies retroactively added two national titles to their resume, finding somehow, somewhere, enough documentation to support rather random claims of national championships in 1919 and 1927. The Ags were likely one of about five or six schools that someone called the best in the nation in those years. Interesting. But in addition to those two titles, you see, they've called themselves Big 12 champions in 97 and 2010. Problem is, nobody in the Big 12 would ever be able to substantiate that claim. You see, the university claimed the two extra conference titles for years in which it won or tied for the Big 12 South Division title, but didn't actually win the conference championship game. In 97, they lost to Kansas State in that game. And in 2010, they were part of, get this, a three-way regular season tie with Oklahoma and Oklahoma State for the division title. So they were claiming conference titles in two years in which they either won or shared their division title. So they've modified the wall. Now, if you notice the fine print under the years 97 and 10, it now says South Division. And this brings up a whole other point. You're now celebrating winning or sharing the title of a 16 division. And keep in mind that in 2010, since there was a three-way tie, half of the 16s could claim a division title. So how special is that, really? And I can assure you of this. Oklahoma and Oklahoma State, well, they're not putting that on their walls. And there is no way any SEC team would put that on the walls, a division title. And if I'm wrong, because I haven't checked them all, Please send me a pic of it on Twitter at ESPN Guard because I would love to see that and to show the nation on this very show. Look, Texas A&M, I know what you're doing. You're trying to legitimize your football past, but please don't do this by creating one. You are what you are, a university that is generally well-liked with a football program that plays in a fantastic stadium with one of the most underrated home field atmospheres in the entire nation. Take advantage of your resources and earn your championships. Then you won't have to qualify or invent any others. Those are the three.